Department of Police are still investigating a shooting that left a man dead. It happened on Southland Park Drive. Fox 40's Jeannie Nguyen was at a shopping center getting reaction from neighbors about the shooting. Nikki, police tell me it happened last night just after 7.30, and I'm going to step out of the way so you could get a better look here. The shooting took place just right around this area, right in front of this liquor store. People who live and work here say things like this just don't usually happen in this neighborhood. For the past 13 years, Kathy Garcia has worked right here in the Southland Park Shopping Center. That's why we came here, because it's just our neighborhood, and we know everybody, so just fit right in. She's the owner of Land Park Salon. I've been here 13 years. I've never had any problems at all. But on Sunday night, right after 7.30, Sacramento police say a man was shot and killed. What happened and the motive for the shooting is still under investigation. Who would do that? I mean, really? People who live nearby and work in this shopping center say they are shocked to hear something so violent happen so close to home. We've never had problems ever. We've never, we've had homeless people, but we just give them something to eat or something and they leave. We've never had any problems, so that's why I was totally shocked. Employees at this liquor store didn't feel comfortable speaking with Fox 40 on camera, but did tell us the victim bought a beer from them shortly before he was shot. What happened after he walked out of the store is something they're still trying to figure out. For Craig Bussey, after living in this neighborhood for four years, he's not surprised by much anymore. Uh, seems to be getting worse every year, more and more so. This is all too familiar for Bussy. Last February, a store clerk was killed at the 7-Eleven, also in Southland Park. Bussy says the spike in crime is so bad, it's reason enough to leave the state. We're actually moving at the end of the year to, to Boise, Idaho. But Garcia chooses to believe her beloved neighborhood is still a good and safe place to live and work. I don't want to bring in that into the neighborhood. I want to kind of keep the aura still good and open, not bring it down. Sacramento police say they are still trying to figure out just what happened here last night, and the victim's name will be released by the coroner's office once family has been notified. Live in Southland Park, Janie Nguyen, Fox 40 News.